Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Friday. It's January 23rd. This will be our chart lesson for today, and it was an interesting day. Uh, in the end, it was just a down day, I believe. I originally saw the two-tiered red channel. I wasn't really sure uh, where the low was going to be. What I have on here kind of fits, but in the end... I almost wonder if it wasn't further up here. And then maybe another midline right across there. I think that fits better. You can see that it's working both sides of the price action. Uh, we did get an overshoot down here. Um, somebody else sent me theirs and they were looking at the blue one. It fits really well across the bottom. There is a midline in there. But it didn't. It never really held at the top. Um, so it's hard to say. Um, either way, I think you still came to the same conclusion. You got your break of the red channel here, and this was a spike in a channel, is what this was. Um, but you still got your break and a correction, and then you sold off for a new low. Um, but if you were looking at the blue one, you got the break and. And it sold off for a new low. So either way you saw it, you still kind of came to the same conclusions. Only difference is if you use these first two swings, which is usually what it is, and you made it a little steeper because that kind of confirmed it. And then this was just a freebie right here once you confirmed it here. I liked both of those trades. Uh, so I'm going to go with the red one uh, and get rid of the blue one. Uh, again, I'm not saying the blue one's wrong. But I just tend to like this red one a little bit better. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Again, it uh, not to say that mine's right and the other one's wrong. Mess that line up there. Let's redraw it. Got the angle on it off somehow. But you can see this fits pretty well. So. Um, But for, the, for all intents and purposes, from the open on, we were really in a trading range. And we fell out the bottom, then we fell out the top, and then we ran for the next leg down. And I really thought this was going to be the next leg down. Uh, and when I say next leg down, we measured this one um, right here. And then I was looking for a measured leg down, and we didn't get it. And I think that fooled a lot of people trying to get this thing going. But if you move it over to here, you can see it was a, we almost closed on a perfect measured move. And you and you probably would want to try to measure it all the way to here, but this was really the first leg down, and that's kind of a correction. And this was just like a little something in the middle of it. But if you use that right there, and you drag it over to this move down, I mean, that's, we came within one tick, and I mean, it just closed on the very low of the day. Uh, and we came within one tick of reaching the target, so. But that's what I saw, and, but really all you had to do was find this range. Even if you didn't see the other stuff, or if you had your other channel off a little bit, it did help. I mean, the range actually gave you this setup. Um, it would have helped with this, with this trade here, but hopefully you would have noticed that line right there. Um, and this really could have been just a hair lower. A lot of times it's off the closes. And if you do it like that, let's just move the midline. The midline still works. Everything still works. And you get a break here to move to a new low and then your correction. So that's a distinct possibility. Um, and like I said, you don't have to get these things exactly right, but they got to be close. And it's it's a skill that you learn and you get better at it. Um, and sometimes when it's really close like this, you don't know if there's been a break or not. So um, you just have to kind of go with the flow. I still don't know that I don't like that the best, though, to be perfectly honest with you. Um because you still get the break and the move to a new low, and that would have kept you looking for shorts over here too. So um, I still like that one the best. I, I just I really like that one. Um, but uh, let's talk about the trades, and 
we'll call it a weekend, and we'll be back again to do it Monday. First trade I saw set up really well. This looks this looked real trading rangy. I mean, you know, you got one move up, and you're just kind of in between, and you got the little failed break higher. There was a second entry short right there, uh, but that was that was actually before the seven o'clock hour. It was a little bit early. It's close enough if you were here. I didn't really like the setup bar. I thought you were better off to wait on the second entry. And then you get that move higher here that fails. It goes out the top and turns and goes right out. The top. Just go short right there. Um, because now you got a double top and then a little failed break higher, a little third attempt. So it's like a double test rule. And boy, off it goes. And this one trade right here could make you a bundle. Um, and then you get a little two-legged pull back to the EMA. There's some support resistance across there. You can see that. And there's actually a double bottom there. And so it comes back and tests that. It's like a breakout pullback short. If you went to a slightly smaller chart, you'd see two clear legs with a clear second entry. Uh, but it's still two legs back to the EMA, a breakout pullback short. There were enough reasons I liked it. Uh, there's enough room to get out before this low and notice it did bounce there. And this is what I'm always telling you about. Make sure there's enough room to get out before you get to here. Cause sometimes it won't break lower and fail and go higher like that. And it comes right back to the trend line. You get a double top and it turns back down again on a bigger picture. That's, that's really two legs back. It went a tick or two higher, but that's close enough. I like the way that one looks and it just was a quick, easy scalp, and then then it was obvious something else was. Going. I mean, you could see that we were stacking up here, and so it was better just to kind of sit tight at that point and wait for something, and then finally you come back up and you test this high again. It turns down, and again you got enough room to get out before you get to down here. And the bias is down. Uh, another nice move, and again I thought we might run for another measured leg, but we didn't. It just got. The, the upper tier just moved down an equal distance for the most part. And so then we're just kind of chopping around in there again. Uh, if you'd had this trend line in the right place and the midline and all, uh, you might have considered this trade, uh, one of these trades here. But again, I think it's so close to the support right here that it's just not worth risking because what's going to happen is it's probably going to break lower and fail and go. And this is like a little repeat pattern from right here. It breaks lower, it fails, it closes on its very high. It gives you a chance to get long at the very low of a trading range. And that thing shoots straight up. Doesn't, doesn't even hesitate. goes right back to the highs again. And then you just kind of get chopping around. Then it has a little fail to break out the upper side. And again, I originally had this a little bit lower. And so I'm looking for it to turn down right in there, and it finally does. I ended up adjusting it up like so. Turns down. Notice that new low pullback first entry, pullback second entry. This is not a very good signal bar. It's very bullish. Um, so you probably want to let it break lower and then use a limit order and try to sneak in a little better just in case. Uh, so you have a smaller stop and you get a, in case it, doesn't go very far you, you got a better chance of scapping out but it, it ends up dropping all the way to the bottom again and it was tempting to go along there there was actually a second entry right there but I was looking at this bigger channel and I wasn't going to counter trend trade after that um, if this trend you know at least not that kind of counter trend where everything's still below the EMA without being enough room to get out um, so it just kind of chops around, um, comes back to the trend line again, and you get another bearish bar right there. Just go short. Boom, and look at it go. And there's a little breakout pullback short right there. So you could have considered entering there. It's not a real good setup. I'll make it green because it is a breakout pullback short. And the bias is definitely down. And that was another nice move. And, uh, and this is aggressive too, but you've got this trading range and prices shot out the bottom and they're way away from the EMA. So the odds are we're at least coming back to test that and we're probably going to come back to test this low right here. But this thing just takes off like a rock. This was almost looks news driven right here. Maybe something 
there wasn't any schedule news that I'm aware of, but maybe something came out. I haven't even gone back to look. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't care what the news says. You know, you can't. It does. It doesn't change anything or help anything. But it's just funny how it took off like that. Now I know there were a lot of people that had gotten short, and uh, and these are probably people covering because it didn't last. So whatever happened. Once we got back to the strong resistance, it took over again. Um, but you're still looking for a retest of this high on a move that's fast and that strong. So I didn't see any way. It was tempting to go long right there. But this was just an inside bar to that one. And um, if you did get trapped there, you, you had to exit when it turned back down. Um, but and you are looking for prices to go up. So, yeah, I could see some people getting trapped right there. Uh, very possible. But um, this bar should have gone at least to the high of this one or past it to really be, to look like a reversal. Even though it's a bullish bar, it's still an inside bar, and it's high, couldn't get as high as this one. So I think you're better off just to kind of wait. And plus, if you draw your little trend line, you don't have a break of it. You can see right there. There's no real break of that trend line. Maybe a little bit steeper. More like so. And you see there's just no break of that little channel yet. Um, you might have got a little close outside of it there. It might actually be a little lower. So you could have got a close outside of it right there. And a new low. So you still could be confusing there. It's just a tough trade. But generally, when you're in the middle of these ranges, uh, they're not great setups. The reason I like this one was because of the main trend line. But generally, you know, I call that no man's land. And prices just don't know what they want to do a lot of times there. So, and you can see that's right in the middle of it. So I like to just kind of stay clear of that, those trades, unless it's just a really good setup and an inside bar even though it looks really bullish is not a great setup there um, but it comes down and it bounces right at the low again uh, again it's there's there's two legs in this first leg and then another leg and that's a measured leg down oops wrong one I should say something doesn't look right here so that's your first move, and then there's your second move. And you can see that's a perfect measured move down to the lows. So I like that to be thinking long there, um, but it doesn't really give you a good setup. It's a doji, then another doji, and it finally does break higher. So you might have thought about entering that with a limit order. And you do figure prices may go back up to the upper side of the range again. So there's some reasons to consider buying that. Um, but it's not a great setup. So I marked it in green. Um, and then we pull back here. This is another little congestion area. It's a little failed break. And then you get the first move up. It turns back down. And then it goes back out again. Uh, but that's a nice little bullish move right there. And there's your first leg down. And again, there's two legs in it, just like here. And then you get the next leg down. And you can see it's within a tick or so of being a measured move. And that's a little bullish. Again, it's in the middle. Uh, but I was looking at this possible trend line right here, this spike in a channel. And I originally had this drawn um, a little bit steeper, like so. And it may be that that's right, because we never get a break in a retest. Let me just play with that a minute, oops, because this may actually, it may be steeper. And that kind of fits. Let's see if we can get a midline there. Yeah, it does. I mean, I actually like that better after the fact, um, coming back and revisiting it again. That's probably a little higher, and this is probably just a little lower. Yeah, that actually fits really nicely in there. Um, 
and now you get the break and a couple of legs up to a new high in the sell-off so it, it definitely does uh, fit a little better uh, so that's another reason to maybe take that trade um, and then you get you just bounce again at the lows and this one goes higher um, it was tempting to go short there but you never know that it's not going to hold here and act as support and go higher so you waited on the trap it turned higher was a failed second entry long and went right out the low side and quick easy scalp to the low side and also notice that this is going back to the to this trade um, it's a double bottom with the lower notice how each low is getting higher and then you get a double bottom and it was tempting to want to go actually or we forgot about this one there's the failed second entry long turns down and it was tempting to try to go long there again but it's right back into that and this is still had to decide if it's going to act as support or resistance yet there's no real clear uh, it acts like it's back to resistance when it gets there almost but uh, I think you got to skip that trade um, there's not a very good setup there and then you get a lot of overlap but it turns out to be a good move but I think you just got to you got to skip it and then you got your double bottom you, you try to make one little push up first entry then there's a second entry and it fails and it breaks higher and turns down um, just take that short there's a long trap after a failed break up up here and now we're headed lower and then you get another little um, push higher that fails right here and you know you're looking for prices now to come test this area and this is kind of a little um, bounce here but notice how you get this doesn't close on its high and then this breaks higher and gets hung and then you get another little it's just it's just a moment a few moments before that's going to go lower um, and then that got you right into the two o'clock hour there wasn't anything much after that you're back down to the lows here now so I don't think you want to take that trade you're better off to wait on a breakout pullback short and it kind of gave you one here but it just ended up getting hung up would have worked but it's way after two o'clock um, notice that new high pullback first entry pullback second entry failed second entry long psh, off it goes again and once it started heading down again I would have been thinking about that measured move um, it's hard to say I would have measured here first and moved that over which is about what we got but in case it went lower I would have measured to here and this would have been my secondary target he might have even actually started there so I would have considered going you know looking for it to come to here if it continued on and it looked like we were trying it just the market closed and it's Friday uh, before we got there so um, but that's what I saw and if you back out and really look this is just a range and we tried to go higher and couldn't so it went lower and it did and there was a downward bias uh, until this failed break lower and we started working higher uh, there's somewhat of a slightly upward bias right in here um, but you still the range was the bigger picture and you know, it really just was a range there a really tight range and somebody sent me an email and says hey it's been really good until today and it's been horrible today but I like these kind of days and if you caught this trade here especially um, I had a really good day today again today it was done early um, but I was able to catch this trade right here and then you see there's multiple trades um, other shorts across here so uh, you've only got to get one or two like that one right there to especially with if you catch the runner which you should have been able to do there um, you can make some pretty quick easy money so um, but anyway I'm gonna wrap it up for the day and for the week and we'll be back to do it again Monday but I hope you had a good trading day I hope you have a great weekend uh, this is Mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time